y'all. Welcome to another episode of Big Black Guy Reviews. This is the vlog. I'm a big black guy. I'm B Mart. This is B Mart. And today we're going to be uh, going over, or I should say, we're going to be vlogging about Mike Tyson <laughs> Mysteries. Yeah. Yeah, exciting stuff. Yeah, for real. Like, who would have fucking thought it? <laughs> Mike Tyson own cartoon. I thought it was I thought it was a joke when I first saw like a trailer for it. I thought it was a, a fake thing. Nah, it's one of those things that definitely started out as a joke. Hmm. Yeah. Like there's no and then somebody was just like, you know what? I I don't I don't wanna see that. Let's, <laughs> let's go talk to Mike Tyson, see if he wants to do it. I bet you the person who started it too was like, No, I totally meant that. For real. Wait, you think it's good? Yeah, no, that's it's definitely a good idea. We just well, <laughs> Dude, so check it out. What if uh, there was a Scooby-Doo style cartoon about Mike Tyson and instead of a dog, he has a talking pigeon and an Asian daughter and it goes for a friend. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny as fuck. Dude, you just blew my mind. I know, bro. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> now it makes sense how this happened. <laughs> Yo. And here we go. <laughs> yeah, apparently they got enough people to say, let's make this happen. And even got Mike Tyson on board. I, I mean, you could have just told me that Norm MacDonald was going to be making a voice for like an irate, smart-ass pigeon. I would have I would have said I was going to watch it in, like automatically. Hell, the show could be all about Norm MacDonald as an irate... Go on, they could have a spin-off. It's called Pigeon. Pigeon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... And you got Jim Rash playing the marquee. I thought that was <clears throat> Stephen Colbert. Because his voice sounds very similar to me, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, actually, fun fact, that's uh, Jim Rash. Um, which, this would be the fun fact. He plays the Dean on Community. Payday is postponed until next week, so this is my freestyle rap apology. Well, I'm a peanut bar, and I'm here to say your checks will arrive on another day. Another day, another dime, another rhyme, another dollar. Another stuffed shirt with another white collar. Criminals, Wall Street, taking the pie, and all the black man gets is a plate of white lies. Prisons recruiting them, police be shooting them, rap artists looting them, labels all diluting them. Barack Obama is scared of me, cause I don't swallow knowledge and I spit it for free. Let me clear my throat. Ha ha ha! I don't know what that was, I don't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> and if you, for those of you who've seen Community. Ah, oh, welcome back, Jeffrey. How was your, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my God, even his shadow. Look at his shadow. Oh, oh. You know how awesome that is. So I've not yeah. seen community, so <laughs> yeah. I'll oh, fix that one. Everybody else, bro. everybody else seems to have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, as far as who's playing Young He, um, his Asian daughter. I missed her name. I totally missed her name. But uh, yeah, apparently Mike Tyson has an adoptive Asian daughter that he homeschooled, and she's a freaking genius. <laughs> uh, just by barely turning 18. She's reading college brochures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it makes me wonder. It's like, what, 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 what is you know Mike Tyson's lineage at this point? That he's lineage. <laughs> But like, what are you talking about? I mean, like, you know, does he have, like, what are, you know, how many kids does he have? Or does he actually have just one adoptive Asian daughter that I this kid is based on? I don't I'm pretty know. sure it's bullshit, you know, made up for the cartoon. I'll look it up later. <laughs> nah, fuck it, look it up now. Does Mike Tyson have an adoptive Asian daughter? Does she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does she? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we got this show now where apparently Mike Tyson solves mysteries with his little ragtag group of friends and family. And uh, for the first episode, which is called The End, I fucking love that. Is that <laughs> episode really the first one? one? Yeah, episode one, The End. <laughs> where apparently uh, he gets a mystery 
by carrier pigeon uh, from Cormac McCarthy, allegedly, and he's supposed to help Cormac McCarthy fight his writer's block and come up with an ending to his story. So the, basically the rest of the episode is just them trying to read this book and find an end, ending to it, but they get distracted by a chupacabra. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> exactly. Yeah. Watching it, it's fucking hilarious. I thought you were just repeating that over in your head, and you're like, "Man, what the fuck did I just say?" <laughs> oh no, no, no. I, I, no. I was letting that sink in for a minute. <laughs> totally letting that sink in for a minute. But uh, now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, you were giving a synopsis of the plot. Yeah, yeah, it was, and I, I don't know, after the Chupacabra, I kind of don't want to spoil anything else, but... Oh, I can't... Well, I don't want to spoil too much, you know, I'm like... I'm pretty sure that he doesn't have an adopted age <coughs> They didn't say anything about his, you know, no kids or nothing, no, nothing over there. There was a really sad story about one of his, like, kids getting choked by a treadmill cord or something. A what? That's what it says. Tyson's daughter dies after incident. Exodus Tyson strangled by a treble cord while playing on the machine. Yeah. 2009? So, would you say the Pulitzer melted hmm. in the fire? Or it's going on, I have no idea. That's terrible. I'm totally just going to throw an intermission in there. A bit more than a girl from Epinia. It's an elevator music. Yeah. <laughs> So this is what happens when we try to look up facts. <laughs> Fuck the internet. Well, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that's the synopsis, is that his daughter died after being choked by a treadmill cord. I'm just saying, this was a book we'd know already. <laughs> <laughs> that's bullshit. Right, right. Yeah, right. the rather Just give us a moment, we're going to run through our local library. <laughs> Neither <laughs> do I, but do you still have, free. To have a library card to check out books from the library? Yeah, right. yeah, but you know, again, the shit's free. So. I don't know if they have like you know online checkout or. I haven't been to a library in fucking forever, man. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had a library card since two thousand and I want to say eight or nine. I'd say that's probably about right. Yeah, yeah. even before that. 2007, I'd say. Actually, I think it expired around January 2009, and by then I was already pretty much moving on my way to moving back here to Austin, so. which has nothing to do with the show. And also, the last time I was in libraries, they had just started renting out like you know, like CDs and tapes, and so there's more people going there to rent videotapes than there was for like checking out books. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, I, I just, I just can't imagine like, like who do they send to go talk to Mike Tyson about this? <laughs> Hey, uh, so, Mike, got this idea for a show, it's a cartoon based on you, it's sort of kind of based like, on you. <laughs> sort of based on you, it's kind of like Hanna-Barbera style, uh, and your you character's kind of stupid. Do you think you would know what Hanna-Barbera style meant? What? Do you think you would know what Hanna-Barbera style meant? <sighs> it's worth a shot. Save my life. You should at least know about cartoons. I don't know anybody about this Hanna Barbara stuff. <laughs> the way you tell Hanna Barbara that they can come and talk to me in person and, you know, maybe maybe over some coffee. She sounds kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know who they are, Hanna Barbara. <laughs> like he just keeps mispronouncing the Chupacabra in this episode. <laughs> A copper chopper moon. God, Chimamonga. Uh. You never know, but you know, for the sake of the show, he's willing to dumb himself down even more. <laughs> it's like, because it's like you know, he's not this dumb in real life. <laughs> There's just no way. Probably not. I mean, I've never met him. Yeah, no, neither have I. But I, I give him the benefit of the doubt. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Very few people I know are that dumb in real life. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even if he didn't know, he wouldn't be this ignorant about it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I guess I like it because it's pretty absurd. But yeah, no, it's. But of all the absurd uh, cartoons, like uh, I guess Aqua Teen is probably my favorite like absurd cartoon. But this one at least has sort of more realistic things going on. I know there's a ghost floating around, but <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. I love that line. <laughs> so does he know he's dead? It takes some people a while. <laughs> I wonder how many people are watching this new John Updike is. I know, right? Like I haven't, I, I had no idea who John Updike or you know Carmack McCarthy really was until they, like they mentioned the name. Um, what was that? Um, All the Pretty Little Horses. And I'm like, oh yeah, I think I've heard of that book. That's a thing, right? Time for birds says, <laughs> oh, yeah. I wanna fly. And That's a pretty epic soundtrack. <laughs> for birds says. <laughs> Just think it's, about people when they think of this stuff. Like, like oh, I gotta show you something. Yeah. <laughs> Playing on the guitar. Like, it's great because it's like, dude, I mean, it, this episode has just been funny from beginning to end. Like, it just had me laughing. <laughs> I like the first time that we saw it. I was constantly asking, and you knew I didn't. I was like, is that actually Mike Tyson doing the voice? And you're just like, just wait, just wait. And at the very end, he's like, you know, yep. real life. Um, yeah, that is Mike Tyson voicing Mike Tyson. And I'm like, kudos to the people that talked him into this, because it is awesome. And it's made <laughs> even more awesome by the fact that he's voicing his own character. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you know he has a good sense of humor about himself. Yeah. And it's totally worth watching. I can't wait to see the next one. I agree. Leave a comment.